Hi, this is Ray Nolan from Specialized Solar Systems. We have recently commissioned a AC coupled solar system for a farm called Barkenscorp. When I first met with the owners of the farm, they were very concerned about the energy situation in South Africa and um, it didn't suit them to only have a grid tied system to reduce their daytime costs. We designed an AC coupled system and what that means is it also includes battery storage capacity. The reason we did this is that uh, initially the farm was on a land rate 123 from ESCOM on their 100 kVA transformer. But as soon as you do an SSEG application to ESCOM, the farm is then transferred to a Ruriflex time of use tariff. For a dairy, this in particular is bad news because they use most of their energy early in the morning and late in the afternoon, which is directly in that peak tariff period. What we have managed to do with this system is with a 90 kilowatt peak array, we have three 27 kVA Fronius inverters, grid tied inverters. But on the AC coupled side, we have six 15 kVA Victron inverter chargers, 90 kVA. And coupled to that, we have two uh, 8064 Freedom One batteries. What that means is that there's 128 kilowatt hours of usable energy in storage capacity from the batteries. What we have managed to do with this system is with a 90 kilowatt peak array, the batteries and many other load profiles are taken care of by the solar array during the day, including loading the batteries for the evening milk. Then when they are being charged a very low tariff, which is on their off peak tariff, we have a scheduled charging of the batteries between 10 and four in the evening, so that the batteries are fully charged to be discharged during that peak time of their early morning milk. Usually Fronius is a, a grid tie system. So we, we established a microgrid using our Victron equipment. So as soon as um, there's load shedding or the in interruption in the, in the AC line, um, the Victron inverters will still establish a microgrid for the um, AC coupled inverters to stay active. Barkenskop Farm has also managed to get rid of two of their ESCOM transformers and run cables to a 33 kilowatt pump. And that pump can also have power delivered to it from the solar system during the day. And then they ran a second cable to their staff houses. And the batteries and the solar system provide power for, it is eight staff houses for the farm. So ESCOM has um, certain standards we have to adhere to. So we have to follow the procedures and protocols on their side. So we had to install contactors and grid monitoring relays to establish a safe disconnect from the grid, just to make it safe for them to work on the lines when there's an outage or maintenance to be done on the line. We had to um, establish a network connection on the Fronius side and also on the Victron side. So we, we had to make sure that the communication was correct between the two. Um, otherwise, the frequency shifting wasn't established correctly.